Hello everyone, Nary here from Drake Queen Gamers, if you know me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming at you with another Let's Play episode of A Place to Call Home. So the last place we left off, we had some silly shenanigans in the park. Uh, <laughs> we went out to eat, got some... I forget what they called it. It wasn't KFC, it was, uh... The... The... the Ah, I can't forget, it's like TFC or something like that. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going crazy here. And, uh, you know, Leo lost his mind, started screaming. <laughs> it was funny. This is a funny game. Such beautiful music in it, too. But anyway, guys, sit back and enjoy. Let me entertain you for the next 20 minutes, and let's jump right into it. Alarm chain, you are up. <clears throat> okay. He adjusts the cap on my head and gives me a quick pat. <laughs> Go get him, tiger. Whew, I can do this. Just selling ice cream. Nothing big. Nothing big. I, cla I, cl I clasp. I clasp and rub my cold hands. I think I'll walk around the shady areas a bit. It isn't too hot today. Just the right temp to make you sweat. People are also crowding the park. Are those cicadas or crickets I hear? Panthers, cats, a few lions, and even a small family of foxes are taking pictures. A light breeze brushes along the lines of my mouth, sweet and cold. Almost like a glass of lemonade at the tip of my tongue. It seeps slowly with a tinge of mint. I adjust my cap to let the cool air in. Hello? You got a Neapolitan? A fox walked up to me. Fur golden red in sunlight. I'm sorry? Neapolitan. You got him, yeah? N you what? What the hell is a Neapolitan? Is that a city or something? Never mind. I'll just have to wing it. I need to make Leo see that I'm independent. I'm a big boy. I don't need no help. How do you not know what a Neapolitan is? Yeah, Neopolis! I smiled awkwardly. What the hell do I put in the cone? I look at the contents of the small cart. Strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. But nothing in here looks like a Neopolis. What is that even? Maybe he's trying to ask me directions for a street? What is a fox doing here anyway? Deciding on what to put, I shakily take the scooper and scooped up three pieces of vanilla into a cone. Here you go! He stared at it. That ain't a Neapolitan. Uh, of course it isn't. This is, uh, this is for my friend... Yeah. My eyes look for a place to put the ice cream. In a panic, I slide it into my pocket. The cold contents wet my pants, then slowly seep into my... <laughs> Why did you put ice cream in your pocket? I shudder. Oh, no. We stood there in silence, looking at each other. The fox slowly backed up. <laughs> he thinks you're a fucking crazy person. Hey there, Mr. Businessman. How's our sales going? He looks down at my pants, dripping in white sauce. What? What is that? <laughs> P.S. violin in the background. <laughs> oh my god! I spoke nothing for a solid minute and just stared into his eyes. <laughs> Leo? Yes? What's a Neapolitan? Huh? Oh, that's an ice cream? There are three flavors combined, strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. He crouches, his sky-like eyes level to mine. Wanna tell me what happened? I didn't know what a Neapolitan was, so I panicked and gave him vanilla. Then I got so confused I kept it in my pocket and... Oh, I see. It's fine, kid. You'll do better in the next round. Why is selling ice cream so hard? Like, life! It's supposed to be easy. I took the soggy cone out of my pocket and tossed it on the grass. No, oh, come on, kid. It's always hard the first time. Hard. <clears throat> yeah? Hmm. I have some... I've had some hard times myself. It takes a lot of effort to get used to it. Especially when you're in a tight situation. Why did that sound so very wrong? <clears throat> um, anyway, uh, do you want to quit? No, I can do this. I'm not going down without a fight. Okay then, champ. Um, your pants don't look too good. It's okay. I pulled my shorts. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're just going to be that pantsless dude in the park selling ice cream. Alright then. Whoa, hey! He tried to cover my crotch with his hands. I have another pair underneath. Oh. Why are you wearing two pairs of pants? I feel like I'm losing my mind with this damn with this damn VN. <laughs> he faced forward, eyes on the bulge. Oh, um, he cleared his throat and stood up. Right. Okay, I'll be ready this time. Do you know how hot it would be wearing two pairs of pants in the middle of the day, especially covered in fur? 
I fold my pants into a small plastic bag and hand it to the lion. All right, I'll put this in the car. <laughs> oh my god, so silly. Two hours have passed after walking around the park in a circle. I managed to sell ten cones. I now have five bucks earned. Leo was sitting on a bench, his head slowly falling to the side while sleeping. He really stayed the entire afternoon to watch over me as I work. Philio hasn't gone back yet, and it's already 4.30. I stopped the trolley at the side of the street where Leo is, the side of the seat where Leo is, and sat down next to him. He's snoring, sleeping upright, drooling from the side of his mouth. Such a nice afternoon. <laughs> hmm. I wonder why you cats love to sleep so much. <laughs> Filio! Mm, dumb. <laughs> I never expected life would be this peaceful again. I always thought that five years ago the world had ended, but it didn't. Though, so much has changed since then, and somehow something, somehow things kind of gotten better? I mean, the countries have already sworn peace. Many states that have had feuds have started working together. It's like a start of a new world, except less futuristic like everyone else, like everyone imagined. Yeah, let's hope that Russia and Ukraine start getting along again, you know? <laughs> Hopefully this stupid war will be over. It's all good. I stared at the toes that peeked out of my shoes. It's all good. Hmm... I'm really lucky. I smile. There's always hope. It awaits for us. It always does. Just a little quote from a young martyr. Beautiful afternoons got you lamenting, eh, lad? I turned to my side. Oh, it's him. Okay. Alright. Um. <clears throat> Don't worry, boy. Everyone's got their woes. Oh! You're the cashier from earlier! You bet you am. Shift's done. I like to hang out here after work. Say, still selling ice cream? I'm kind of feeling for some cool sweets at the moment. I'm kind of done for the day, but I can get you a batch. I have to off my seat and grab my gloves. You're not here very often, are you? Never seen a face like yours around here before. Oh, I just started doing this to this thing today. I'm a trainee. Ah. He bats an eye on the sleeping lion. No, oh, Mr. Hauser's here too. Just my luck. Mr. Hauser who? I paused, scooping three balls of vanilla. You don't know? The tiger laughed, and I tilted my head. This man right here is Mr. Lionheart is Mr. Lionheart Hauser. Oh? Leo's famous, huh? Your boss? Mm-hmm. But he's my parent, actually. Hmm, never knew the family well enough to have been keeping another son in secret. Uh, I'm not really his son, I'm more of an adopted kid. That's so. Still, you're part of his family, and your family is not bound by blood. After all, Mr. Leo is not in any way related to Sir Amandi. Guess so. Is there another one? A wolf, maybe? You mean Filio? Ah, righto, Mr. Filio, that strong young man. Say, is he here? No, not really. He's somewhere in the city doing stuff. Probably still eating. Ah, such a shame. It would be nice to talk to him in person. Never miss a chance to talk to him, family of Sir Amandi. Sorry. It's all good, mate. Say, my name's Seth. What's yours? He lends out a paw. My name's Ludus. Ludus? It's an odd name for a young lad like you, eh? You supposed to be a reindeer? He cackled. Hmm. From what I can recall, the name stands for something for a, a determined man? Uh... Not sure. Not too sure. I'm still in my fifties, but my mind's already clanky. Fift in his fifties? He laughed. Are you from the UK? You just sound so London-y. Oh, okay. Alright. <clears throat> oh god. I can't I can I can do a British accent. I'm just haven't done it in a while. Oh, hold up, guys. Please don't laugh at me. Or you can, I don't care. It's fine. <laughs> god, it's gonna come out sounding Scottish, I think. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep doing it the way I've been doing it. Hey! Raise my parents a wee kitten there. Move here from before the war. Go and made it out of here before our country became a wasteland. Oh, wait, maybe I can do it. 
The bloody war destroyed our home, took everything from us. It's not British, I don't know what that is. <clears throat> he pouted. I still remember to look at my friend's face before they took him away. I'll never forgive those German bastards. But Leo's German. Wouldn't that make you hate him too? He shook his head. The ones that partook in the war, I meant. Mr. Hauser's a good man. I could never hate him. He smiled. Listening to the weir to the weary tire, cold cream drip away from my hands. I shoved the entire thing down in my mouth and started a new batch. My head gets blasted with an arctic breeze. Why would you do this? Why would you hurt yourself like this? Ah! Whoa! Never seen someone brain freeze that hard. Oh, hello, Mr. Bulgy Walgy. Ooh, ooh. No, no, no! Stop it! No, can't do that. Well, if it is, well, if it isn't the wolf. The tiger stood up and shook his and shook hands with him. He beamed. Oh, oh, hi. <laughs> it's really nice to meet you, the famous young man. Famous? Well, not really. Don't be so modest now, boy. Everyone knows you. They do. He gives him a hearty pat on the arm. Such a fine young man you are. <laughs> I just love me some protein. <laughs> Why? Why is the dialogue like this? It's killing me inside. Oh, so much cringe. The wolf batted an eye at me. Who is this guy? He seems really enthusiastic about me. He said you're famous? You know, Fern. Oh, right. Yep, it's me. The famous brother of that one person that everybody knows that I don't want to talk about. Hey, great meeting you all in one place. I wanted to greet you all earlier at JFC. JFC, okay. But I didn't want to disturb you. Jakarta Fried Chicken, that's what it is. Ah, well, you're in luck now. <laughs> they both laughed and continued their own, ops their own conversation. The tiger didn't seem to bother with the ice cream I prepared anymore. <laughs> oh, what? And how's sleep? He grunted, wiping his drool off with a paw. God, it's already 4.50 p.m. I missed an appointment. He scratched his head. Shit. Ugh. Anyway, how about you? I only had ten customers today. I didn't have to go... I didn't have... I didn't have the will to go... Uh, I didn't have the will to shout out to advertise after what happened with the, ne with the Necropolis guy. <laughs> That's already a success, kid. You're a first-timer. You'll get to learn more tomorrow. All right, if you say so. By the way, who's that man over there? He stared at the two. Seth and Philly are still chatting with bright teeth. Ah, oh, that's, uh, Seth. <laughs> Seth, isn't he... Isn't that the bastard that toyed with me earlier? Yeah, that guy. What is he doing here? He said he often goes here after work. So it would seem. Phil's made friends with him already. Oi, good afternoon, Mr. Hauser. The tiger quickly grabbed his hand for a handshake. Blimey, you're quite a tall man. We feel like you sure like I'm good naps, eh? Uh, yes we do. How do you know my name? Mr. Hauser, brother of Sir Amandi. Uh, right. That. It's a privilege to meet you all. You're all so charming. He clasped Leo's hand. Say, what do you eat for meals? You're a... You're real six foot seven, aren't you? You're very big too. Giant lion. Look at those curves. Well, wow, you've got really nice eyes. Um. Oh, hold up. What was Sir Armani like when he was young? How did you raise him to be so good? You're such a great man. I am, uh. <clears throat> that is great and all, but we best be on our way. Ah, already? I was hoping to chat with you for a little while. He lets go of Leo's hand. It is kind of late for us, and Ludus still has to cook dinner, too. What's going on here? Oh. Ah, I see. Well, pleasure to meet you all. I'll be heading on my own, on my own way as well. Also, blah. I, uh... Take care. Alright, you too. The tiger waved goodbye, giving us a wide grin before he turned. Well, look at you. You like him, don't you? <clears throat> it was just a reflex. You'd probably do the same if someone held your hand. Uh-huh. Now, I'll take the trolley back to the shop. It might take a little longer as I have some things to attend to. Oh, what? You expect us to wait here? You'd rather walk alone? 
Can I have some ice cream at least? Hmm. The lion sighed, grabbing a cone and popping the lid off the cans. Flavor. No. You! What is wrong with you? What are you doing to me? <laughs> Narcolepsy! You mean Neapolitan? Same thing. Here. Now, you two stay here for the meantime. Yeah, yeah. Tiger patted both our heads. Also, Leah paused as he turned. Oh. Stay on the lookout for anything suspicious. Who turned out who turned out the lights? I heard there are some weird things lurking in the park at night. What, kidnapper or something? Even worse. What? A ghost. That is just what I heard, anyway. He laughed as he pushed the trolley forward. <laughs> Nosferatu! Leo's such a jokester sometimes. I don't think he was joking, though. What do you mean? <clears throat> Sorry, what do you mean? I don't know, he sounds so serious when he says stuff. Oh, that's just him, I guess. You sure you don't really believe in ghosts? Of course not! Well, I do. I've experienced a few sightings a few years back. What? Really? Mm-hmm. I even saw one here in the park back when I still lived out here in the streets. No way! You're kidding! What did you see? Yeah, I myself have seen some pretty fucking creepy, scary things in my life. Like, the house, the house that I currently live in used to be haunted. And... I am not the only one who saw things in this house. We had like an... We had like a... This is going to sound really fucked up, people. So just a little bit of a warning right now. We, um... For the longest time, I would see skinless dogs walking around the, my house or our property. And I had someone who came to live with me for a while. And he started seeing them too. Like, I didn't even mention them to him. And one day he just... One day he just flat out tells me... You know there's a jackal outside your house, right? And I'm like, does it have any skin? He's like, no. <laughs> uh, yeah. Man, this world is weird and scary. But you know what? We all have each other, so let's be thankful for that. Well... It was midnight. I decided to sleep on the bench here. Wow, did you wait till night before you started your story? <laughs> there was no one in the park but me, and the park usually closes for visits by midnight. So there wouldn't be anybody here except the night guards that patrol the area. Wait, how did you get to how did you get to stay here then? I was friends with one of them. So before I fell asleep, I saw a black figure at the corner of my eye. It was tall, slim, and it looked like it was levitating off the ground. A ghost? Maybe. I fell asleep right after. I saw it walk towards me when my eyes closed. He slowly backed away from me. What? What is happening here? All right, who's got the dev console open and is altering the time of day? I'm fine. I'm not possessed or anything. If you say so. I do have a tendency to sleepwalk at night. Dude! <laughs> I'm just kidding. And I thought you didn't believe in superstitions. Grr, ghosts are different. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Ghosts. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What do we got here? We took a seat on the bench, listening to people chatter and in the distance to the whispering wind and the loud sighs of the wolf. The sun had set, and there aren't many people roaming in the park anymore. We were sitting on a bench under a tree with only the light of one lamp post on our side. So, where you been earlier? When eating, nothing much. Tried the new buffet restaurant a few blocks down the street. I say we should go for some next time. They have the best seafood there. Really fresh, too. We serve live oysters and even sea urchin. Why would you... God, I don't... Ugh. Dude, that's so nasty. No, no offense if you like sea urchin. I just... The whole... The, it just makes me squirm. I was also able to touch a... To touch a live one. And... It wasn't, wasn't pretty because it was moving. The little spikes. It was very, very creepy. 
Also, you would not believe how many plates I finished. I even had to pay extra. Yeah, I just cannot imagine. I chuckled. I clasped my hands together. The warmth of my breath made a little made a little cloud in the air. You cold? Yeah. Wanna move closer? He patted the space next to him. He placed an arm around me. His fur gently brushed against mine. I rested my head on his soft chest. I heard the thumping of his heart, slow and steady as his pecs heaved up and down. I stared. His tail cuddled around my side, slightly moving. Hmm. <laughs> Near winter. Really? Time flies so fast. I'm gonna pause it right there, guys. Alright, that has been another silly, touching episode of... Wow, I forgot the name of this. I know, I'm just sorry. I'm just kind of lightheaded from all that talking. Ugh, a place to call home. Yep, I got it! I remembered! <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell until the next video. I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!